year. Okay. Now this year, let's do more to um, decompress. Okay, now this is, in the past, some of you were, it's like self-loathing uh, energy. Okay. Or feeling undisciplined in whatever you wanted to bring forth. If that's the case, then just take baby steps. All right. This is like mind and heart battle. Uh, she loves me. She loves him not. He loves me. He loves me not. Whatever. Um, and feeling like this is someone who doesn't go forward because they don't feel like they have anything to offer in the bedroom, too. Okay. All right. But now also, um, For some of you, you're a leader and you have a lot of responsibility. And so it's like you've been on the world stage and it's like uh, you really didn't have time to give to love. And like by the time you get done with work, you you can't connect physical or uh, emotional. It's like you got you, you and you go to sleep and you might even be connecting with your person, but not able to take it beyond the ethers here. You can, but feeling like you can't. Five of Swords reverse. Okay. All right. So again, it's like do what you can. Now, if you have a lot on your plate, maybe doing the gym might just make you more tired. Okay. So maybe just do. Uh, walking or any kind of yoga might even help you feel uh, physically good okay and if the gym hasn't been working out for you try something like that qigong tai chi okay what sign are we on virgo okay Eight of Swords and the Hermit. So it's like work, 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 and then resting. Okay, but then here's the suggestion is do the rest and self-care and then move forward. This one looks like it's hitching a ride. So it's like hitching a ride with spirit and taking the... Uh, movements and the dreams that you want to build this is someone who's been keeping an eye on you on the internet they feel like there's a lot of competition and uh they've been trying to resist it I was like, why is that? Okay, so it could be a fire sign. They feel like it might be too challenging. Like they have to go through the hoops or even like a high vibration to get to you. It's something like that. That's weird because I feel like they are high vibing. Hmm. And I feel like you would pounce on them. 
<laughs> okay, four wands. Okay, so here is some someone that you could build with. Okay, so follow your guidance. And this is something that can, that will be offered in the physical. And, uh, some of you, uh, don't want to do it again because of the past heartache. Now who, what sign had that? Could be a Libra. Yeah, it could be a Libra or Okay, now for some of you, this is an older mentor at work and you're in your head about that and maybe you don't even really like them and that focus there is causing problems in your love life. So you want to try to get to neutral at least, right? Yeah, try to get to neutral at least. What is this revelation? Let's figure out what that is. Uh, that you have the ability to move in a direction, even if you don't feel like you have the energy, you have the ability to move in a direction with clarity and not let your head rule over your heart. That could be criticism, right? If it's Virgo. Okay. So now what about that? Now, you may seem angelical or like an angel or pious or high uh, in some sort of high honor or integrity energy, and they you may seem unapproachable. Okay. Now that looks like a nuclear symbol. What kind of thoughts has that air sign? So if it's an air sign, yeah. If it's an air sign, that's what they're saying is um, they may have not been able to um, go beyond this kind of like, it's like they wanted to go and to the sunny side and commit and all that, but uh, they had a practice pattern. Also, if it was them, then they had uh, some loving things that didn't work out. And they felt like they couldn't persevere through it. And now they're in this kind of trying to rest and rejuvenate, which I feel like you were doing that. Okay. There could be someone. Okay, so there could be coming to peace with some religious difference for someone. One could be Christian and one could be like Jewish. That's coming up here. Yeah, so then that was the not going forward. Okay. That's sad that religion would get in the way of love. The whole point of being in a religion is so that you could love more, right? That's weird. Okay. All right, now... Ace of Pentacles, yeah, that's like not going forward with that person. So maybe there's some regrets there, and that's what's causing, uh, cause you not to go with them. Okay, now that's one. 
All right, let's see, find out what else is going on. Revelation, what is going on with that? Now there is someone who wants a new beginning with you. A Virgo, another Virgo. Oh, okay, so they could be a Virgo cusping. I almost said Leo, but this is... Um, and they have some duty with their familial stuff. Okay, let's see. What sign is that? Pisces, Scorpio, water sign. That's a Leo, not an Aquarius. Okay, and then Aries. An Aries that hasn't been all that positive. Okay, so it could be Taurian moon here causing that. Just could be just one moon phase and hiding. Hi, the revelation is they've been hiding how they feel about you. Okay. All right, we got that part figured out. Okay. So maybe it's like, well, if you know your per who your person is, maybe focus in other areas, right? Okay. Let's try another deck. Okay, for someone, it's your heartbreak, or their heartbreak is keeping them from moving forward. And it's an emperor type. Everything is not fine, but they're trying to pretend like it is. Okay, they could be having some money stuff for someone. Air fire person. They want to try to open up to intimacy and not just like play around all the time. But they don't, because of time constraints and what they're giving energy to, they feel like they can't fully give to love like they want to. But there is a possibility. Now, again, this could be collaboration with someone. I feel like this one could be you. Could be them. Hmm. The challenge is the chariot. So that's movement. Okay. Or is this you not wanting to share uh, finances or something like that might be coming up here? Is that them? because of a past experience they had. It's a fire sign. It, it, it's like not being able to focus on the good things it's like focusing on the negative things more than the positive things, whoever this person is. And if they could just, it could be Aries over here. And if they could just do 
um, detox might be social media detox. I feel like you two could come together. It's kind of like he said, she said stuff. The love is there. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like, all right. So they spend a lot of time on the internet fantasizing. about the physical, physical stuff. You are my soulmate. They recognize you. And a lot of times they focus on you. You make my day. I just thought you should know how amazing you are. They think you're wonderful. You are smashing this. The floral, the paradise, the flower, this odor of the paradise. They see you as this high vibing energy and you're aware of them. You know that they, uh, there is pure potential here and it takes that pure energy to connect here. I feel like that inspiration goes both ways. You are straight up. Wake up, kick ass, and repeat. They see you as powerful. And it they like focusing on you because it makes life interesting. Maybe it'll take them to be on some sort of B attitudes, like positive B attitudes. Okay. Be you, do you, for you. They see you um, living a great life. They think you're amazing. It, okay, so I feel like that what they're trying to say here is they think you're wonderful. Okay, and they see the pure potential that could happen, but somehow there's some sort of thing from, and it could be from childhood. Okay. They focus more on things in the past that uh, not in those feel-good places too much. And it turned their world upside down. Now, their luck could change if they move with it. This chariot could go upright when the wheel turns, but there's something here about money. Okay. And that's... That could be how they were raised around money, too. Okay. <laughs> I'm stumped, y'all. Okay, all right. So, and I'm not picking up anything what to do. I feel like maybe the solution is a date in another direction. Okay. Or maybe not even date, focus on other things, right? You had that one card. You had the seven and the eight of pentacles, wanting to work on it. Uh, all right, let's see. Let me use this deck. Okay, Scorpio. Could be some family thing. Okay, so it's like, what is, I got mama's boy. What is that? Mama's boy. What is that? Okay, so it could be someone with, could be a Libra. 
Okay, now Libra was actually coming out as balancing your energy again. Okay, or they're balancing their energy. Want healing. Okay. This is Scorpio. This could be like when you work out. Okay, I'm getting this. When you work out, it could be a change in your DNA. It's like breaking down the muscle to build up muscle. I'm getting that. The transformation is coming if you feel... Look, this is a cross watcher. Okay, so this is like... Okay, so this is like your muscles breaking down to build up and you are going to see the transformation and you are going to feel balanced again so i feel like if that's the case this could be a libra or an aries or anyone harnessing the scorpio aquarius energy all right Now, if you're Aquarius or Earth cross watcher here, um, you want to go beyond, or Libra, you want to go beyond the superficial, which is the exterior energy, how someone looks. That's not as important as the love. Okay. It's like the wheels turning the wheels turning and someone I felt like it it was like it's almost like someone tried to put a wrench in there okay I feel like that's the cross watcher okay Herald of Wands okay so now this is like subconscious Fear of performance. Okay, now, I would say it's the bedroom. Okay, but it could be uh, at work. Performance at work. Your cross washer, the performance at work is an, uh, something that's on this person's mind. Okay, but they love you and they want to come forward. And heal this. Okay. Woo! Okay, someone had the same exact order. Someone did. It was Gemini, maybe a soulmate. So it's a soulmate. They recognize that you are a soulmate too, not just you. Okay. And there is a potential here to bring it into the physical and um, come together. Now, this is recognition. If you're the cross watcher and you're just here, this could mean that your transformation is happening. Be easy on yourself. Okay. Your soulmate might be just your non physical you and you. That's okay. And here is um, the transformation and healing you wanted. This is, could be marriage with spirit. It doesn't have to be a person. And then that's going to bring you success and victory in the physical. Okay. And where you get recognition, recognition and accolades or... Um, now, it could be at some sort of celebration thing where awards are given out and you meet in that kind of environment. For someone, it could be like... It's a YouTube thing. Okay. All right. And then here's the King of Cups. This is like the for the cross watcher. I feel like if you haven't offered love, I feel like it's because you're afraid that your love won't measure up or something. But spirit suggesting, yes, you it is possible. You can succeed. You are a loving energy. And it's like Taurus moon is the throat chakra. So maybe you have things and then they just stop here. 
but the moon will pass. And here is another opportunity to um, go back and pick up the things. It's like pixie sticks. Pick up the things you wanted to. There's no loss in divine mind. Six of cups. Some of you uh, may choose singleness for a while. But here's the spherot, so that means that there is a union here happening. Okay. Do you want it to be you, right, Cross Watcher? Okay, now, for Virgo, um, there is a balanced, lasting union coming in, so get ready. When you get the inspiration, move with it. And also, um, you're a perfectionist, so maybe get all your outfits and things and get your... Um, all the things that would deter you or be excuses not to go. Paperwork, things organize your life, right? So that you can go when you want. Yeah, that's that was the crossing energy. Okay. Yeah, and uh, move out of any kind of self-criticism. And that will change your world. Okay, let's say you have a pattern of doing that, right? That discernment. Okay, well, reach for, every time you say something like that, find the positive to balance it out. So if you accidentally <laughs> reach for something that is of a critical nature, find the opposite of that that's positive and rephrase it. Okay. And I feel like that could change you and keep you from repeating the past cycles. Okay. And that could be for the cross watcher also. Yeah. Tune into your spiritual side. And I feel like the do deeper union will be possible. I'll leave you with that. A union that you dreamed of.